This is Jupiter Today for the 12th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's nine Jupiter satellite events and three satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west, as does Europa. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east, as does Callisto. At zero hours 23 minutes, the transit of EO begins. At 1.34 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. From 141 to 150 UTC, Europa eclipses Ganymede. It's a 9.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.099 arc seconds. So it's a total eclipse. Estimated magnitude flux drop of 1.005 magnitudes. It's 160.7 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and Ganymede are 71.84 arc seconds apart. Most definitely a fantastic photometric event and photographic event, so I encourage you all who can see this event to record it. At 2.40 UTC, the transit of EO ends, and at 3.51 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. By 6 hours UTC, EO has transited and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. At 8.49 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 11.12 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 11.41, the transit of Europa ends. By 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 3 heading west, very near its western elongation. And Europa is transiting. At 1404 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 1424 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, that's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,000. 549.7 549.7 kilometers. And then at 1657 to 1701 UTC, Europa is going to occult EO. It's a 3.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.606 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.158 magnitudes, being 69.46 arc seconds from Jupiter. By 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four heading east, and Europa is firmly in quadrant three, heading west. From 1846 to 1849, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 3.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.795 arc seconds, very shallow eclipse, a graze. Estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.089 magnitudes, 45.93 arc seconds from Jupiter, and EO and Europa are 45.24 arc seconds apart. At 2142 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, and by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is still in the shadow of Jupiter, and Europa is in quadrant three, still heading west. Ganymede and Callisto continue in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today, these are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all those to get that for today. And here's that nice bowl shape again. 24 hours of Jupiter sky, we're going to be sitting on Jupiter's equator this time, seeing what's going to happen over the next 24 hours. We've been showing points of view from the four Galilean moons of Jupiter, and I think I'm going to keep rotating through those. It's kind of an interesting and different way of viewing this very dynamic place.
The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 109, the second at 1104, and the third at 21 hours UTC. There were some new images posted, and there's actually a new image website that I found. I will share that as well. And there was no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 32.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 59 minutes, 44.4 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 110.833 degrees, and that's 0.973 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 10.081 degrees, and that's 0 0.07 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 734,911,853 kilometers, and that's 2,227,588 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 92,816.17 kilometers per hour. It's getting pretty fast. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 800,574,413 kilometers, and that's 43,551 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,814.63 kilometers per hour. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 171.85 degrees, CM2, 56.72 degrees, CM3, 342.34 degrees. So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like what you're seeing in this podcast. Make sure to tell all of your spacey friends about this podcast. It goes on practically every day unless I have some technical difficulties. Just trying to show the very dynamic Jupiter system and different points of view on seeing it. Find out a little bit more about it as we go along. So you can send your comments and images and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.